like Ginger did. You know how she owned the runway when she was Ginger! She can give birth at any moment right now. We are excited, though, for our next guest. We're celebrating Black History Month with a brand new series that's highlighting women who are game changers, disruptors, showcasing their black girl magic, which is a popular hashtag on social media. We're kicking it off. Oh my goodness, with two comedians, Jessica Williams and Phoebe Robinson, the stars of the hit podcast turned HBO special, Two Dope Queens. We're going to bring them out in a moment, but first, here's their story. Welcome to Two Dope Queens! There's a new monarchy on late night TV. Fashion, fashion, work, work. Two Dope Queens. The hit podcast featuring Jessica Williams and Phoebe Robinson is now a four-part HBO special. We got the HBO money. Got the money for our hair. With their sharp wit and quirky humor, Two Dope Queens celebrate the millennial experience with a unique blend of conversation, stand-up comedy, and storytelling. With guests like Sarah Jessica Parker, Titus Burgess, and Jessica's former boss, John Stewart. Thank you for joining us, Jessica. Oh, yeah, it's no problem, John. I'm just going to another pool party. In 2012, Jessica made history, becoming the youngest correspondent in the history of Comedy Central's The Daily Show. On the stage right now, Phoebe Robinson, everybody. After her decade-long career in stand-up, Phoebe penned a New York Times bestseller. You can't touch my hair. You want me to say you're my grandma? And now, the royal duo says Two Dope Queens is like nothing you've ever seen before. Special. Oh. So are you ready? Well, I said, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go up to Two Dope Queens, Jessica and Phoebe. watching like HBO mm -hmm. and you know just seeing so many like wonderful black comedians ahead of us mm -hmm. like Wanda Sykes and just to be a part of it on the same network as Issa Rae who I've been following since her web series yes. it's just kind of like I'm pinching myself a lot just really 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 feels awesome and this we were just saying back there behind the moving wall that we left <laughs> we were just saying how legendary this is it's yeah. just like Times Square black girl magic good morning America this is so like our moms are gonna be so pumped about this like this is awesome at least you said your moms are not your grandmas. So no, that's good. no, that's good. no. So that's good. We're trying to keep a little bit younger here. Yes, yes, yes. But um, tell everybody how it started. So Phoebe, you were in Brooklyn. Yes. In your apartment, you started, yeah, Brooklyn, yep. started a podcast. Mm -hmm. How did this all happen? I had a rinky-dinky one-bedroom apartment in Brooklyn that was not cute. My neighbors were like, It was cute. It was, yeah. I, went, I went once. It was cute. Yeah, I get exactly went once. And she never <laughs> it was like a big, it was like a big cab right? I was like, never again. That's the only reason. Um, and then I, just, I interviewed her on this podcast I used to run, and I would like edit myself. And I interviewed her, and we just had so much fun. And she told me her birthday was coming up and asked what she wanted to do. She's like, oh, let's try it. I want to do stand-up. And I was like, do you want to just co-host my show as like a, a silly goof? And she said yes. And then we had like a, a sexy, sassy, fun first date. It was like really hot. hot. It was really yeah. hot at Tinder. Yeah. But I swept right. Yeah. Uh, well, we, we like immediately noticed that we just had a lot of chemistry. Mm -hmm. And so then when we were done, we were like, should we just do that again? Like, should we date again? And we were like, yeah. So we just kept uh, doing these uh, shows and then we had to move to a bigger venue and then we had to move to an even bigger venue and now three and a half four years later now we have these four hbo and we're next to you Robin. Yes. Yeah, we're next to you but you know you, you launch a podcast right to number one what do you think about it your story that that uh, what you do that resonates with so many people I think people like the fact that they can hear black women talking and hanging out and that we could, whether it's like talking about 
lotion that we use or celebrity crushes that we have, Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> Hashtag Michael I'm B. Jordan. I'm waiting for you. Hello. Yeah. Um, and then the fact that we have like super fun interviewing celebrities, like I think when we have Josh Stewart on, it's like nice because they like know each other. But he was just so game to like be playful and silly. I think a yeah. lot of guests like to be able to be playful and silly with us. And then we have amazing stand-up comics on, like Michelle Buteau, and Sheridan, and yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's incredible. And I also think too that we it just brings it back to the stand-ups that we have on the show. We always try to make sure that we have either a woman or a person of color, a member of the LGBTQ community, mm -hmm. uh, doing stand-up because oftentimes, like us as black women in entertainment, we are the supporting characters in other people's narratives. And for two dope queens, we get to be the stars of our own. And not only that, but give a platform for our, for our friends to do that as well. Well, I'd love to see that because you do get that platform. And I've, I've seen the first two episodes and to see all the people that go there on the stage. Mm -hmm. and, and then I'm going to talk about Sarah Jessica in a moment. But you mentioned Issa Rae. Yeah. OK from Insecure. You got Donald Glover from Atlanta. This is a really, this is a moment. And what do you think it is about uh, having these very diverse experiences being front and center now? It's, it's amazing and it's really um, important right now. And it's definitely a moment for like people of color. And I also think that it's an honor to be able to kind of be a part of that with these specials. But I think what's great about it is it's highlighting the nuances between people of color. Like we are, we are all black mm -hmm. women, but we're all different, mm -hmm. and we all have different styles, and we all have different stories and personalities. And so what I love about this moment is that we're able to differentiate ourselves as opposed to usually just getting the general sort of treatment. Which is nice. like, yeah. And what's also great is that you know I think. Hollywood is starting to recognize the buying power of people of color, the buying yeah. power of women, the buying power of queer people. It's like you can no longer ignore these audiences anymore because mm -hmm. they have excellent taste, and so you need to cater to that taste the way you cater to like white dudes. Amen. Yeah. Amen to that. That's true. Okay. I saw the episode. It's Sarah Kadeem. Yeah. 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 Yeah.